with all due respect to that courtroom in Atlanta that's currently prosecuting YSL, this has to be the most ghetto, 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 ghetto trial to ever be tried. TV in Jack Frost. Mike, What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, the sheriffs. Okay, <laughs> hold on. The sheriff's department is being accused of shenanigans. Okay. Now, I want to be clear about something. So, uh, I don't know if you've already heard the video that we already have. Uh, I did a video. I hope I'm putting these out in order. I did a video uh, basically talking about how the courtroom and the YSL courtroom was just recently uh, shut down or whatever the case is. Uh, apparently, there were some people yelling in the background the court was uh closed they took some of the defendants they ushered them out of the courtroom and then i guess they then ushered them some of the people back in the courtroom a little bit later after they got everything worked out or whatever the case is so there's a couple of things i want to say real quick because now i have more information check this out so first thing i want to say is one of the attorneys after coming back in the courtroom said that uh when they were trying to get their things together to leave like they were asked the sheriff's department told them that they had to leave their documents which is bananas they had to leave their privileged information in the open in the courtroom they were not allowed to take it with them now with that being said there is a, uh, this is being filmed, it's, it's uh, being live broadcast. So there is actually a camera in the courtroom at, at all times. The judge says, if we allows, he doesn't even talk like that. Well, if we allows, I have no idea how to do his voice. But apparently he said, well, if we allow you to look at the video, will that be fine? Uh, the attorney says, okay, L allow me to look at the video, you know that'll be cool so then he's like okay so is that the end of the day because the judge is trying to get up out of here he's like so is that is the end of the day then young thug's attorney says no basically he has a couple of things that he has on his mind so he steps to the front and he says look judge this is what i heard i heard from some of the uh press that apparently they were alerted that there was going to be an issue in court today. Now, hold on. I left a very, very important part out for a very good reason. So, what the uh, press allegedly told an attorney, not Young Thug's attorney. Somebody brought it to Young Thug's attorney's attention. Allegedly, they were told that there was going to be because obviously he's like the, the the main speaker for these guys whenever they have an issue the judge just kind of talks to him a little bit better i guess and the rest of them feel like yo we go tell the judge this we gonna get eight more anyway he says that the press at least some of the press or at least at the least one of the press members was alerted that there was going to be a uh situation in court today and y'all better show up so I say all that to say this. The person allegedly that was initially doing the yelling was a sheriff. You got it. It was an actual, allegedly, allegedly, it was an actual sheriff who started all of the shenanigans. Now, I say all that to say this. He goes to the front. Uh, young thug's attorney i uh, forget his name he goes to the front and he says yo look judge he's doing an excellent job by the way he goes to the front he says look judge 
we were alerted by some of the press that a situation like this was going to transpire. Now, I just want to add this. Add this to the fact that they weren't allowed to leave and go outside with the confidential information that has everything to do with the case and their client. And this might be something in any regard. He's stressing that situation rumor. They're looking for jurists currently, right? One of the things that you have to understand, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think every attorney get their own sets of, nah, we don't want that jurists. I think they get their own set. So I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, prosecution who then said they have nothing. They don't know what the hell these guys are talking about, by the way. If the prosecution might feel that the other side has an unfair advantage in picking jurists. Once again, they've been trying to pick jurists since January. And from what I've heard, they picked zero. So with that being said, allegedly, the sheriff's department is in on this. Now, I'm not saying that this, I'm not in the courtroom. If I was in the courtroom, I'd be able to tell you better. But I'm not in the courtroom. Now, with that being said, put it down in the comment section. I'm curious. Whether YSL was guilty or not, I'm not speaking on that. What I'm saying is, do you think that the prosecution and law enforcement might be pulling some shenanigans to ensure a conviction because let's be clear on this how often have you been in a situation where somebody is being aggressive towards you and as soon as you confront the aggressiveness they play the victims that's basically what could have just happened here basically what i'm saying is how often have we seen police officers start yelling at someone and then pretend like that person is trying to uh evade arrest they just be yelling let me cuff you stop fighting the person ain't even fighting fam i'm not even saying this to be funny i'm talking about on some real shit the person don't even be fighting back they just start yelling let me cuff you stop fighting back and the whole time they just saying that so they can f the individual up so with that being said who is it to say that uh with just so we can be clear if if what the uh lawyer said is true and press was alerted that there was going to be a situation today by i think the sheriffs is what they was alluding to how can and i just want to be clear on this how can if they were alert how could they have known how could pardon me how could the press have known? That's one. Two, the individual who allegedly started the situation with the yelling was the sheriff. So how could, if this was a situation that was created by the defendants, how could the defendants would have known that the sheriff or one of the sheriffs would have just randomly started yelling for no reason at all, got people handcuffed and then taken to the back and the court date had to, you know, be held up. How could the defense have known this? Now, with that being said, put it down in the comment section. Do you think this is shenanigans? Do you think that this is BS? That uh, law enforcement, I'm not accusing the actual prosecutors of anything. I'm saying law enforcement, the sheriff's department or whoever could have done in order to try to ensure a conviction. I want to know what you guys think. Put it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out. Imagine meeting me for the first time. An experience, life changing, life altering, never the same again. I envy you.